Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Someone told me Farfa was talking shit. So there's only one thing we do to people that talk shit. We call them up and we challenge them to a duel. Yo, Farfa, what a duel? Wow, Triff, kick W Poggers Pog. Yep, dicks, yep, dicks. Yes, that's duel. Sure, man. The fuck? So I called up Farfa and said, come get your ass on dueling book. We're gonna duel right now. Let me know in the comments below who do you think is gonna win. And while you're scrolling down in the comments, Go in the description box, sign up for the beautiful Pendulum Training Membership. Get yourself a beautiful Trip Gaming Playmat in the TripGaming.com website. Subscribe. And without further ado, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go get this son of a bitch. Let's go, baby! Far from your ass is mine! <laughs> against him so far let's continue the streak and go 7-0 right now i'm not losing i don't care we got the world on my side Ver pen god versus feet god what the hell kind of display picture is that bro good god far from man you're something else so he's going first he sets a card he sets three more a big deal i don't know what he's playing i figure out uh that he's playing paleo i, I didn't know this at the time and I'm about to get wrecked right now. You're going to see something. Look at this. Uh, I summon Cerberus. I start drawing cards. In this situation, I always desire stress before these. Because uh, it's to draw a chance to draw two cards versus a chance to draw one card. So you have a much higher chance to draw a Servant, an Abductor, or a Magister, or a Reflection. And still maintain the same amount of counters. Because if that makes sense for the people out there with a the brain nearly as big as mine. We're going to continue. We're gonna, and, and look how genius that is. I got both Magister and Abductor to hold counters. So, if I use Into the Void first, uh, it would have been uh, just a chance to draw one of instead of two of, but I still keep the same amount of counters. Absolutely genius. Now, I'm going to use Cerberus Effect, or he hits me with the Canadia. Absolutely get destroyed, uh, but we'll be alright. Uh, we'll still be alright in this situation. Uh, activate that. Draw. I'm going to start drawing a lot here. You know what you're playing. You know you're playing a garbage paleo deck so i don't have to do too much here he's thinking what he wants to do i'm about to search with the doctor that's what he's gonna dinamiscus here and that's totally fine by me he's gonna banish it that's fine look how much advantage you have right now on the field that's totally fine by me so uh i'm gonna summon the souls first you have an option here you might want to allure darkness or you might want to souls there's lots of different options you want to do what i opt to do is a tribute summon because i cannot afford to get solemn strike i don't know what this card is i'm assuming it's a strike if I use Soul's Effect to discard an Allure of Darkness or to uh, to discard Allure of Darkness or to use Knowledge on it and he strikes it, I'm passing my turn and he's cl clearly this is a Toad card. So he's going to make a, a, a totally awesome. I don't want that to happen. So by Tribute Summoning here, I free up the Exo Master to summon Magister. So now I'm not only going to have Mighty Master, but I'm going to have Mighty Master, Magister, and one of these cards. Jackal. So I'm going to have Money Master and a Jackal, which for the current game state is impossible for him to deal with. Uh, so here I'm going to, he's thinking about using Trap Trick, uh, which was a good good move because uh, I'm going to lose out on the Magister. Now Mighty Master is going to negate it. Mighty Master is going to attack. And just like that, I cleared all his back row. I have three cards in hand. I'm going to start with four. And he has nothing. Even if he makes a Toad, it doesn't matter. What's a Toad going to do to a Mighty Master? Literally nothing. So we're in a fantastic situation here. I'm going to set everything because I was under Into the Void. And there's really nothing you can do in this situation. No, nothing you can draw. He draws Storming Mirror for us. I mean, not that it'll matter. He sets and passes. Uh, I use Institution. I search a low scale. And at this point, it's the beginning of the end for far of, of this game. I'm going to Pendulum Summon. Uh, there's really nothing you can do. I'm going to Lord Darkness just to add counters. I don't actually care about drawing anything. I just want counters on my cards. Enter Battle Phase. Uh, he's going to activate Storming Mirror for us. I'm going to be like uh, Mighty Master in the gate. I'm going to attack and negate the Toad. And that's game. So, obviously, I won game one. I'm going to destroy him game two now. Well, there's just no chance I'm going to allow myself to lose to, to someone whose profile picture is feet. Farfa, man. You're very questionable sometimes. Anyways, we'll let the suspectness of Farfa go away for a bit and continue our duel. Uh, he goes ahead and sets three. I'm like, this is easy work. Activates Morella off the bat. He's scared of Denko. That was a good move. 
I draw both lightning storm unevenly. So here I'm thinking of yeah, the solemn judgment. You know, you gotta be smart in terms of that. So I'm like, uh, I could evenly, but there's gonna be uh, one card he, he keeps. I'm like, I'm just gonna lightning storm and look at this. He acted, he changed trap trick, and I'm about to get absolutely obliterated here. Look at this. Look how sad this is. Waking the motherfuck dragon. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me? I was so pissed when I saw that card because who the hell plays Waking the Dragon? And now I have to deal with an exterior, which is straight up an auto win. So I'm so upset at this point. I'm like, wow, there's really nothing I can do next game. There's no card I could have to stop Waking the exterior. I needed a, maybe I should have waited a bit for, in case I drew Chronograph. That was my only out. But uh, I was like, you know what, bro? I'll give you this. It's totally fine. Now, uh, I'm going to make him go first because there's no chance, no chance whatsoever. I'm going to allow myself to lose to this guy. He just, did, he just did that to me. He beat me. He beat me when he went first and I went second. So I'm like, I took on the challenge. I'm like, you think I'm scared, bro? You think I'm scared? I'm going to let you go first and blow out your board and, and, and obtain victory. Because uh, I'm an absolute genius. Uh, so he's going to go out and do his thing. He drew good. You know, he has pit. He told. Toad set two, so it's good for him. Toad set two, so we got to do Olinetis, Canadia, and a Toad. I'm like, no, that's no problem. We have, we drew a lot of side cards here, so it's bad for us, but that's totally fine. We're going to activate Lightning Storm, hoping he's going to negate it. That's so why I'm going to bait him. Obviously, he's going to have to negate it. I chose to destroy uh, the monster, I believe. Yeah, so I chose to destroy Toad. Obviously, he's going to choose to steal the Lightning Storm, which is totally fine by me. Then I'm going to activate Evenly Matched. So, Evenly Matched not going to get rid of everything. Uh... Now he's up with one card, and that's a Canadia. My next line of play, I'm like, it's totally fine. I'm going to obliterate him, and there's no way we lose. Uh, Surfers, Jackals, summon that. Uh, start drawing a lot. Uh, Blue Boy, Knowledge, draw an infinite amount. Uh, draw two. Uh, get Mighty Master, so I can clear that thing. Uh, he's going to attempt to use it on the Surfers, but I'm going to be like, no, sir. I'm going to activate Red Reboot. Nice try. And just like that, I'm going to obliterate him. Uh, ah, yes. Very cool. It is very cool indeed. He summons Awakening the Dragon. Obviously, I'm not going to pop to Waking the Dragon. Uh, so, yeah, he can choose to get a trap card anyways. I'm going to activate uh, Mighty Master to blow up the board. And at this point, I'm like, I don't have much. I can't Pendulum Summon, but at least I can set up Selene. So, I go Souls uh, to send Jackal. I'm going to summon Time Gazer. I'm going to go set up, a, get a Selene. Selene's going to summon out a Jackal because he has a Swap Frog. And there's just no chance I lose. I even put a Mask Green in case he has a way to destroy my card effect. There's just in, no chance I lose in this situation. Use Selene now to special out Jackal. No chance I lose. There's nothing he can do. And then out of nowhere. Who the fuck plays Sphere Mode? Who plays Sphere Mode, man? What the hell? Oh my god. I was so tilted when I saw Sphere Mode. I'm like, that's not even fair. Why do people play this card? Why can you play Dark Ruler or something at least? So I'm so upset at this point, thinking I knew he should have had this. It's far, far. He probably built his deck around this. Now he has Swap and then Amiscus. I'm like, good lord. I was so tilted. I was so sad. I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm going to lose to far, far now by getting Waking the Dragon in the interior exterior and the Sphere Mode. Like, he's not even losing playing Yu-Gi-Oh! It's losing to one card. And I was so upset. So I'm like, okay, it's not over yet. I'm gonna draw a card here. I'm doctor. Doesn't that, that does not help my cause? He's gonna told told me next turn. I'm gonna have to wait and hope I have some good stuff. He goes toad, and he has one I can't deal with. He sets a compulse. I'm like, all right, well, ugh, there's nothing you can do here. Activate. I've let everyone down. I've lost the Farfa. So I gotta say this, Farfa. Congratulations. You're best in me. Good job. I'm proud of you. You have beaten the pen god. Good for you, homie. You deserved it. Even though it was by very, very scummy ways, it's okay. They're part of their Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's not an excuse. I lost fair and square. I should have thought of Sphere Mode. But because Sphere Mode is not a thing anymore, it did not even occur in my head. So let this be a lesson to every one of you. You can firmly outskill your opponent. You can have the 10 times better deck. But... You can always get sphere moded. So let that be a lesson to all my pendulum fans out there. 
Uh, don't summon more than three monsters. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys like the video. Go subscribe to Farfa. He has amazing content. And go check out his streams as well. And hey, subscribe to the pen guy. You already know. So hope you guys like the video. I will not lose to Farfa ever again. I believe our series is now 6 to 1 for me or something. I don't know if I ever lost to him aside from this. That's a great video. Good job, Farfa. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.